Hey guys, I've got a nice live well that I just built to keep on the side of the canal. I wanted to show it to you. It's built out of a Husky 35 gallon container that I bought at Home Depot. It's powered by a 110 to 12 volt transformer with two set of output cables. One is going to a shore flow Fate Master 2 live well pump. The other is going to a Power Bubbles air pump. I've got my input line coming from the shore flow pump into a T, and that T divides out the two sets of two inch PVC with a valve or two valves. One valve controls how much water goes through the upper pipe, which as you can see, I filled about 20 holes through to create an aerator. And the other fills the live well from the bottom to ensure that I've got good circulation of the water's coming into the bottom and going out three drains in the top. The key to this, is a simple little two inch hole cutter. And you can see it just fits perfectly, really, really snug on those drains and on that uh, pipe coming in from the top. And this little device, this little uh, gasket thing here that I bought at Home Depot, where you can put this set of threads through the side of the Husky box and you can screw in here. So you've got a water um, tight seal. So I'm using that on the bottom so no water is escaping from the bottom feed right there. I've got shrimp in there right now about a quart and a half ready for tomorrow's fishing trip and I guarantee I don't lose one tonight. I've kept piggy perch in there for about a week now just as a test of this thing. It's run perfectly for a week. Another thing that I did which I think is important is I put a sea strainer before the shore flow pump so the shore flow pump doesn't burn out so if I get seaweed or something in it. It'll get stuck up in this sea strainer. And I also put a um, inline fuse on the shore flow pump just in case it does uh, bind up because that was the most expensive part of this deal. I paid about $130 for that. I think I paid about $30 for the transformer, probably about $20 for the uh, power bubbles, 12 volt bubble um, generator. And I don't know, about $20 for this Husky. Uh, 35 gallon container and the PVC piping was all negligible, you know, maybe $10 for all of that piping, those valves and that key splitter. So a very, very affordable um, live well. It probably cost me a total of $200 or so, give or take 20 bucks. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to many years of usage out of it.